Today, we got a nuke in Black Ops 6, but everyone always just shows the gameplay. I want to break this down and help you get a nuke as well. So I was playing Skyline and I went on a 30 gun kill streak to get a nuke, which is obviously very, very difficult. But I want to highlight some stuff I did right to get it in the first place. Now, obviously, uh, using your movement, your gun skill, map awareness, positioning, all of that's going to help you stay alive and get more kills. Now, I do have pro level skill because I was a pro player. So I got that pro player gun skill, you know, and I did play a lot of Black Ops 6. So I got really good at it. So I think this is the start to streak right here. I get one, I get two, and I hit this man with a move. I think a three right there. Boom, four and five. So I do got to suppress on my weapon. That's something I do want to highlight, which obviously makes it harder for them to find me. And, you know, I see some dots here. I see some red dots on top of my mini map. Uh, one's down low. It looks like the other two or three are up top. If it's dark, the way it is on the bottom is the left one. You can see that means they're there. If it's like kind of like an outer circle, it means they're on a different level. So he was up top. So I kill this guy real quick. I'm like, all right, I see multiple. I try to get two piece. I go up. I see three now on this level. As I said, and I'm going to go challenge these guys real quick. Kind of flank these guys with the suppressor again. Really nice. Uh, my team ends to get that man from behind. What do you mean by that? So right here, I'm already like on an eight or nine spree. You know, I got on a five spree, went on almost another five spree right now. I get a merciless. So I'm currently on a 10. So as soon as I get this 10 spree, I'm like, all right, a nuke is definitely possible. And you're going to see me linger kind of right with my teammates here. I'm going to slow down, right? Instead of me running around headless and trying to get more kills, I'm going to slow down here, kind of play this positioning, take my time, just waiting for another kill. Now I could push up, but you know the odds of me running alone without my teammates. You can see all my teammates are backed up. Nobody's pushed up right now essentially i'm the first one in i'm essentially bait and i'm probably gonna get one or two max and i'm probably gonna die the odds of that are very high so my teammates are all sitting back i calmed that in the game i'm like all right you guys are sitting back i'm sitting back because i really wanted to get the snook i pick up the sniper here see if i can get a blood or two you know to get some kills and add that to the score because i'm currently on a 10 and i'm like all right i need 20 more to go so i'm gonna work the map here uh do i get kills with sniper absolutely not but I do try to get one. And I'm just, again, just pull out my sub out. Just kind of getting ready. My teammates are playing kind of slow. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play slow with them. And this is something you really want to do. When it comes to getting a nuke and, you know, going on streaks, you want your teammates to kind of be the bait. You know, you want them to kind of go in. You want them to run around. And if they die or they get in gunfights, you know where people are at. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. Again, just taking my sweet time. I end up sneezing. So I hit a hot chill. Missed that shot. Go for the challenge. I'm like, all right. This guy is pre-aiming me. I'm not taking that challenge, right? That's a bad fight. The odds of me winning that, it's like a 40 in my favor. 40, 60. He looked decent. So I'm like, I'm going to take my time here. My team is going to take the kill. Completely fine. I saw, you know, I try to get the kill, but it's all good. I see some dots here from my heli, as you can see behind me. So I'm like, all right, there might be a guy sneaking up behind me. So I'm going to pre-aim this, pick it up. Luckily, do see spot someone picking me. You see, flanking me. My team is getting shot on the side. Like I said, boom, kill him. That's a great example of my teammate being bait, right? Enemy shoots at him. I know he's there. Useful information. So going on the sprees, you know, I take this challenge. I'm very confident with the Tonto at range. I just take the challenge. I say yellow. Uh, I'm currently on a frenzy. I got a frenzy kill there. But you can just see like understanding mini map awareness and understanding where your teammates are at. And your mini map is a huge factor on reading one enemy spawns and obviously where you, you, they're going to be, right? So those are two big things. So Again, my enemies are spawn. My teammates are spawning deep on the other side. That means the enemies are most likely in this area. So I, I preamed this. I kind of play for a guy here. And this is a really good I'm power spot, right? Because I can kind of go back like forth here. And I know my teammates are on the right side, right? So the odds of someone shooting in the back are extremely low. And I can kind of head glitch this, look left, go back to right, head glitch, look left, go back to right. So right here, I'm cut a good spot. I didn't want to reach out the sniper there because the odds of the, uh, me dying were pretty high. Uh, if he's just preaming me, hits a shot, I'm dead. But you see, I, I peek for a second, see him again. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to take that engagement. There's one, there's a guy next to him. So there's two guys. One is preaming me with a sniper. I'm going to completely disengage from there. And that's something you got to do. You got you to gotta take your chances, right? It's just high, it's probability. So instead, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to flank these guys on the hill. Uh, I do have special a special agent, I think it's called. There's something agent. I forgot the name to it, uh, where you look like your teammate. And it kind of catches that guy off guard right there. And it, the, it looks like your teammate in their screen. And I do have a suppressor, which if you add a suppressor to it, you never get shown as an enemy. So the enemies just have to be aware. So right here, I get a couple free kills, essentially, because the enemies don't even know I'm their enemy, 
right? So this thing comes in handy. So I do got the suppressor rocking on this thing to help me as well. And something I want to highlight as well, you're going to notice I'm backing up again, right? So I immediately get some kills. I back up to my teammates. Again, on the mini map, you can see I'm with my teammate. I'm with my teammates. I reposition, right? I get out of that situation. So right here, we'll go back to this again, right? Get this kill. Get this kill. I'm like, I hear many of them. None of my teammates are near me. I have no one, no one to get me information. No one to bait for me. I'm currently on like a 16 streak, 17. I don't know what it is. What am I doing? What am I doing? Diving across. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Kill a spawner here. Play, play for a spawner. Read the spawner. Get him. And boom, back with my teammates again. I'm with them. I'm with the pool of players. My teammate dies. I'm a preamp. Get one. Boom, reposition again. Now, praying my life again. Get behind this head glitch. Here, I reroute. Route back to my teammates. Again, my teammates? this is going to help oh, you get oh, nukes, but in general, help you go on sprees. If you want to go for those high kill streaks and get those chopper gunners and all those cool things, or even get nukes, this is a good way to play it. So right here, I'm going to back up. Like I said, I'm going to go to my teammates. My I'm teammates. currently on a pretty big spree. Me staying out by myself, I'll most likely die. I peek out here. Nade, no. boom, dip. Oh my fuck. And instead, again... I'm like the only guy in this vicinity. My team is at four, like four guys on a staircase. But the odd, the nade just came down the hallway. All the someone are pushing me are pretty high. So I'm going to wait here. Give it a couple seconds. Let's go, man. And look at this. This guy's literally going to uh, ignore my teammates and run straight past them and challenges me. And luckily, I pick it up and I take him out. So right there, that could have been a potential death. Now, I'm going to take, I see some shots on here. Going to clean this guy up. See some shots on my right. Going to get this guy up. So I'm just winning some 1v1 gunfights. This is just where skill comes along. And again repositioning i know hey don't hate on the game all right some of you guys might say i'm scared this is what you got to do to get a nuke you got to play what smart else? strategic i get I these kills i have nobody on this side of the map as you can see on the mini map right here i have but it's one team in a random corner he's not doing anything for me he's camping this corner not really giving me information not really being bait this guy in hill is kind of looking at me he knows i'm here what i do i'm out oh my god i'm out Right back here. to my teammates. Oh back my to my teammates I go. <laughs> and I'm currently on a spree right here. I'm, I'm on a brutal. I believe this is a 25 spree. And look at that. Like Just that. look at these guys coming in. Look at these guys coming in. I went big oh, gunfights oh. here. Clutching up here with my teammates. They helped me a little bit, obviously. But uh, just going big, oh repositioning, play the situation yeah, smart. And this is what it takes to get these type of nukes, man, and, and go on these sprees. And again, these are good. I'm playing in a lobby with pretty good players, right? We're talking about higher KDs. We're talking about sweatier. You can't get away with just running around like a maniac and expect to get a nuke in a lobby like this, okay? If I was playing complete bots, different story. But I'm not. I'm playing pretty good players. So I'm right here. Again, I'm, I'm literally like four off a nuke here. I am taking my time. You think you swear I'm moving and dying. Taking my time, trying to take the right fights to get this nuke. Spot this guy, get him weak. Teammate kills him. All right, come back. And I'm just playing this par spot. Luckily, turn around time. Gun that kid to bed. This guy starts to flank. Catch him off guard. Again, my teammate basically saved my life, right? My teammate was basically bait in this situation. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Having teammates around you, looking at your mini map. They get shot at first. Gives you the advantage because you can shoot them, the enemies. Right here, I turn around just in time because I saw my teammate coming back the stairs. Okay, let me turn around. I catch this guy. Perfect time. Thankfully, kill him. Oh Teammates running around. My teammate, if he shoots at the first guy he sees, which is my teammate running around, this enemy comes and shoots at the first guy. Boom. He, I get to react in time. Kill him. And right now, I'm like on a 28 or 29. And again, this is a really good position because there's only two angles, right? They either have to come up the stairs or they have to come down this pathway right here. And I can kind of just, you know, go back and forth and finesse my life here. So this, I just start to play this situation here. Obviously, yeah, just man. waiting for this. I just want this nuke so bad. Again, teammates die, turn around, and this is a perfect example. You know, this guy gets a two-piece. This guy's not bad at all. My two teammates die here. And guess what? It gives me the information. I see the red dot on the mini-map. I turn around. Bada bing, bada oh boom. God, no! Nuclear. And just like that, we Come got the nuke. Now, obviously, a lot of gun skill was used. Mo movement was used. I got some flashy kills, some flashy pieces, some, you know, some five piece, four pieces, five pieces, some good kills. But I didn't do anything too crazy for the most part, right? There were some flashy parts, crazy parts, some little sprees. But it wasn't like anything too spectacular, right? It was a lot about just being strategic and repositioning and using my mini map and my in like in-game awareness to keep me alive. And I, you know, I explained most of it to you guys. So hopefully you guys understood what I said. And hopefully you guys learned something new. I really hope you guys get some nukes. I appreciate the love. Thank you guys for watching watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed the new gameplay. It's been your boy Apathy. And I'll catch you in the next video.
or in a live stream. Or stream every day at twitch.tv slash apathy for some more Call of Duty gameplay plus Black Ops 6 when it comes out, baby.